my name is Anne Curzon and we're talking about Studio Q and Community Door. Community Door, we've managed that website, oh, it'll be nearly six years soon and um, it's sort of growing in crazy ways and it sort of followed needs of what people needed so you know online collaboration platforms, we sort of built one of those, we had some ear training, we built a new platform for that, Studio Q is part of the Community Door project as well. Um, and the, but the main sites kind of look the same for a little while and it's sort of getting a bit heavy. So there's work underway to redesign that and make that really kind of modern and in tune with um, web design, like good practice web design principles. And so that's very exciting. Well, Studio Q, well, it came about because we had sort of a bit of a problem. We knew we needed to get a bit more savvy around how we got information to people. We had people in regional areas who couldn't access events. We'd had, you know, a kind of reduced funding in some of our contracts, so we were like, how are we going to do this? And we thought, let's build up our capacity to film and do audio recordings, but then we, we had the issue of where we were going to put it. Uh, we had the Community Door website, which has a lot of content on it, a lot of text-based content, and we had the QCOS website, which is kind of the same. So the idea was that we created a separate portal just for our multimedia content. So... Um, and it's, you know, something a bit like TED, you know, where you could get a bit lost in it. So, you know, I'm watching this one particular video and it's like, oh, here's something else that looks cool and interesting. Oh, here's something else. And it could be audio, it could be video, it could also be presentations, um, sometimes with audio on top of them. So that's kind of where it came from. But the idea came very suddenly. I was halfway through reading something very boring. I can't remember what it was now. See, it was that boring. And um, I just went, <gasps> And I bolted from one side of the office to another to Karen Murphy, our communication um, manager, and we were just like, oh, had one of those great ideas. And it kind of grew from there, and we had, you know, people on the team helping us get it ready. We had a great um, design firm that we engaged called RMB Creative. We did a fantastic job with the design and build of the site. Um, and a team of people who really, really took to learning, how do I film people, how do I do this, how do we set it up, um, which is not as easy as it looks at all. Um, and yeah, really helped pull it all together. So it was a great team effort, a great idea, which was a lot of work to pull out, but um, we think it'll continue to grow and keep yeah, going. Initially we had pretty good reactions. I think people really appreciated the fact that they could go and have a look at it. Um, it's sort of, you know, when, um, it, when we first started, it took a little while to kind of get it to that, um, to that point where it was really out there and everybody knew about it, but I think, you know, we continue to promote, it continues to grow, the audience continues to grow. And the way it's designed too, there's an opportunity to get um, like audiences who aren't members as well because of where the content sits across different sites as well as on Studio Q. So ideas from the Queensland community sector um, or ideas that are really interesting to the Queensland community sector can also reach a broader audience through Studio Q and that's really exciting. Um, and you know we can use it as a platform to draw out stories of great practice of managing organisations of delivering services and it has a lot of potential and yeah feedback um, has been pretty positive. We took that into account when we were designing it like how would it look on a mobile device or an iPad, how could people access it in different ways. Uh, we know we probably need to um, help people um, you know learn how to download things like podcasts and how to listen to them in the car when they're driving between appointments. Um, some people do that religiously, I'm impressed, but other people want to do it but aren't quite sure. So that's some of the work we need to do to help people get the most out of the site.